Now the nonpartisan Congressional Budget Office estimates the move could hike some health insurance rates in the individual marketplace by as much as 20 percent in the next year. For more on what lies ahead for Obamacare, we are joined by Eric Levitz. He's a political writer for New York Magazine. Eric, good morning. Good morning. So let's talk about who bears the biggest brunt here. Is it low-income Americans whose subsidies the president is trying to rescind, or is it middle-income Americans who are facing maybe higher insurance premiums? Yeah, so ironically, the low-income people who receive uh, help from these cost-sharing reductions are going to be fine unless this is so destructive that insurers leave the marketplaces where they live. The people that this is really going to hurt are the people who are uh, above 400 percent of the poverty line. The middle-income people that the Republican Party this entire time has said that we're representing them. They're the people who really uh, they don't qualify for subsidies on the Obamacare marketplaces, and so they feel the brunt of the premiums. Whereas those who have subsidies, the way the subsidy is structured is the higher the premiums go, the higher your tax credit goes, and so you can always afford the insurance. But the middle-income people uh, are going to get hurt if they still pursue because, insurance. Because if these subsidies go away and affect the insurers, are going to raise the rates on the on the people in the middle income. That's what you're saying, right? Yeah, they're going to raise premiums all across the board. But people who have subsidies are going to be insulated from those premiums. Okay. So, so what what's the overall impact do you think on Obamacare exchanges of this? Yeah, I mean, so the Congressional Budget Office did an estimate about this months ago. They suggested that you're going to have for the first year. Uh, insurers are going to leave marketplaces. There are going to be some places where they're not going to have any insurers available. That's going to cost people their insurance. It's going to lead to maybe around a million fewer people having insurance next year. Um, however, uh, after that, the CBO thought that things would get a little bit better. People would get used to the new system and insurers would stay in the marketplaces. But there's a lot of questions here right now because they're doing this days before open enrollment begins. They're right. doing all kinds of other sabotage. The department that's in charge of promoting enrollment is spending taxpayer money on anti-Obamacare propaganda. So who knows, with all these different things in the air, it, it's really, no one knows for sure what's going to happen. We focus a lot about on the insurance subsidies for low-income Americans. There is another piece of this. President Trump also has rolled back in an executive order uh, another piece of the, the ACA. The president just tweeted about that this morning, saying, very proud of my executive order, which will allow greatly expanded access and far lower costs for health care. Millions of people benefit. What is he referring to? Yes, yeah, so he's referring to an executive order that is uh, functionally, it's a, it's a plan to make a plan. So the executive order instructs the departments of labor, uh, health, and treasury to write new rules that would essentially create loopholes that would allow healthy people to get cheap, skimpy insurance that they are no longer allowed to get uh, through the Obamacare. ACA. Mm -hmm. Yeah, which the, the whole idea is the way Obamacare works is we got to have a society where people uh, don't die from preventable illnesses because they're not wealthy, you need to have healthy people subsidize the sick. Mm -hmm. And uh, so the way that Obamacare does that is it forces every insurance plan to cover the kind of benefits that sick people need, and healthy people have to pay for comprehensive coverage, even if they would rather go with skimpy ones. Right, and this may take those healthy people out of the bigger pool. Yeah. Yeah. And it gives them alternative options through short-term insurance and, and these other vehicles. A lot to process. Eric Levitz from New York Magazine. Thanks for your time, Eric. Thank you.